Hi, in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as a scalable attribute based access control scheme with flexible delegation come sharing of access privileges for cloud storage. So basically in this paper the authors have proposed an access privilege system in the cloud storage. So they have mentioned that most of the solutions of the existing system are failed to provide the shared access privilege among the users and to enable cloud users to delegate their access privilege in a flexible manner. So to overcome this issue the authors have proposed a fine grain access control mechanism to provide the cloud users the shared access privilege and the flexibility on delegation of their access privilege. So for that they have proposed a scalable attribute based access control scheme for cloud storage. So here in the system model you can see the entities like TTP, central authority, the domain authority and the end users with the cloud service provider of it. So here you can see the five entities that is TTP, Trusted Third Party, Central Authority CA, Domain Authority DA and Cloud Service Provider CSP. And here you can see the users are further classified into data owner and data consumers. So let us see the execution of the project. So we have developed this project in Java using NetBeans IDE 8.2 so let me load the project into the NetBeans IDE so kindly wait till the completion of this status bar and as it is a cloud project so we have used Drive HQ cloud service provider where the data uploaded by the data owners will be stored in this drive hq and please note that we are not going to completely host the project in this cloud service provider we are going to store the data only so let me log in and in the execution of the project let me show where the file has been uploaded and here in the NetBeans you can see the loading is completely finished and in case if you are getting this kind of error symbol it is a minor error due to CSS just you can clear it going to this file Just filter out and now you can see it has been cleared. Now you can right click and run the project. And you can also run the project without clearing that also that is a minor CSS error. So you can clear that by clicking filter it also. And now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title a scalable attribute based access control scheme with flexible delegation come sharing of access privileges for cloud storage and also the abstract of the 
project which is mentioned in the base paper and here in the left side panel you can see the entities that is mentioned in the system model that is data owner data user ttp central authority domain authority and cloud servers so now let me show you the every part of it so let me go to the data owner and also please note that uh, while executing the project if you are having any antivirus or firewall you should turn it off in case if you are in if you are not turning it off you will not be receiving the keys through the emails so kindly turn off the antivirus or firewall in case if you are having it so let me turn off the antivirus temporarily to allow the keys to be shared in the email so turn off the antivirus on firewall now let me go to the project so data owner part so as i am a new user i'll be registering by clicking the register part so the data owner i'll be creating with the data owner with the name jp infotech with the email id jp infotech projects at gmail.com and gender as male and phone number and address and password as so for the remembrance i'll show you that i have created the data owner with jp infotech that is jp infotech projects at, at gmail.com so next when i am creating data user let me enter here and show you and now i'll click sign up so the registration is success and click ok so now let me log into the data owner part so let me enter the email id and the password which is given for the registration part and click login but you can see the login has failed even though i have uh, given the exact username and password you can see login has failed because the data owner should be approved by the domain authority so let me go to the domain authority so we enter with the, the username and password at domain and domain and click ok and here you can see the welcome screen of the domain authority welcome to domain authority and here you can see the data owner spot just click data owner here you can see this is the uh, data owner that is already approved and this is the name that i have created now jp infotech with the email id with the de these details and here you can see that is pending so once the data owner is approved by this um, part only the data owner can log in so just click click uh, click this action button and you can see now it has been approved okay so let me log out so the domain authority only does this part so now if you go to the data owner and enter with the email id and the password which we have created and click login you can see the login is now successful with the same username and password and you here you can see the welcome screen of the domain owner the data owner and when we check your email here you can see now the email has been received saying that data owner at account has been activated okay here you can see the data owner at account has been activated so in the data owner you can see you can have the options of upload file my files and access report so currently i have not done anything so all are empty so let me do all the operations 
so here in the upload file so first i will upload any file so for that purpose i'll create a file in the drive with the some of the contents so let me create the content with this so let me go to d drive and create a text file naming it as access policy so say cloud access policy let me create with this file name and paste the content so this is the content i have pasted now and saved it so here in the data owner part so let me upload this that file so here you can see cloud access policy this is the file that i have created just enter it and here in the file keyword i am entering it as cloud access policy and here you can see the file policy you can set the file policy for the doctor nurse or staff okay so let me set it for doctor and click upload so here in the file access policy only if this authorized doctor login their file will be accessed or else the file cannot be accessed by the other entities or the other users okay so let me show that one so click upload now so now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and click ok and in my files you can see now the file is been uploaded with the data owner name file id file name uploaded date and time you can see and the file policy is set to which person which entity and as i said earlier this is a cloud project so uh, we have uploaded the file to the drive hq cloud service so let me go to that and refresh now and here you can see the file that i uploaded now cloud access policy the date the time okay you can see the nine o'clock and it is nine o'clock and if you click it you can see the file contents are encrypted because for the security purpose and let me log out so this part shows that the file has been uploaded to the cloud successfully now let me log out so now i'll go to the data user part so in the data user part i'll create a i'll register with a, a new user as i am a new user so let me as i said earlier data user i'll i'll be creating with the name prakash so i'll use the email id this one so let me create with this so then prakash with the email id jp16586 at gmail.com and phone number and address and password and click sign up and now you can see the registration is success and as we done it for the data owner the data user also if you are giving the same username and password you cannot able to log in because the domain authority should give access for it so let me show that one so as you can see the login is failed and click ok now go to the domain authority part and login with domain and domain and click login and here go to the data users part now you can see the name prakash here and the email id which i have created now and you can see it is pending so you can hear the data user's role is being set here by the domain authority here i am setting it as doctor and click ok so here you can see it has been approved okay you can see it has been approved and click log out so here you can see the data user has been set with doctor so i'll create another data user say example ajit 
with some other username jp infotech chennai at gmail.com so data user part i'll click register and i will enter these details so give the valid email ids because the keys will be sent to those respective email ids only and click sign up and the registration is success and go to the domain authority to make this user approved and here in the data user part here you can see the username ajit and here you can see the status is pending and i am setting this as staff okay and click okay so this user has been approved as staff now so let me show that here for your convenience i am showing you this one so now let me go to the data user login part the first uh, doctor part i'll show you so i am logging you with this uh, data user and click login now you can see the login successful and here you can see the welcome screen of this user and here you can see the access files so here you can see the access file that is cloud access policy dot text which is set to the doctor part is being displayed here so let me log out now go to the staff part and show you this login so you can see the welcome screen of this user and you can see the go access file here you can see the cloud access text file that has not been shown so only the access policy which is set is mobile.txt file which is uploaded on 11-3-2021 is being shown here so only the access policy which has been the file which with the access policy with the particular users will be shown here so let me go to the data user of the doctor and enter the password and here you can see the access policy of this one and if you wanted to access this data user want to access this file you wanted to click request and in the requested file you can see which all the files you have requested you can see the file id the file name cloud access policy and the status of it it is waiting and the uploaded time of it so once if the data owner has approved this they can access it so the data owner part i'll go to the data owner part now and click login here in the access report you can see here in the access report till we have not received this one so log out now go to the ttp trusted third party so in the trusted third party you can see this is the welcome screen of the trusted third party here you can see the data owners the data users who are all the data users with their roles and access request so here you can see the access request the file access request here you can see the file name the who is the user who requested for it and the owner id the requested date and you can see the waiting so and if you wanted to set the permission of download or read you can set here for example if i am setting the permission as read the only the user can able to read it and they cannot able to download it so let me show that one now i will click read and click approve now it has been approved so let me log out and go to the data user part
and click login here you can see the requested file here you can see it has been approved and if you click download you can see it is asking for the access key so you wanted to check your mail for the access key and here you can see the file name cloud access policy txt and the access type you can see it is read read only so you cannot able to download it and here you can see the secret key for accessing it so let me click it and click verify and now you can see you can read the file that is available it has been decrypted and showing but you cannot able to download it okay so only if the policy is been set it is it can be downloaded so let me show you that also log out now i'll go to the ttp and here you can see the access request the access list what all been done now you can see the type that is done that is read and approved only okay now log out now in the data owner part i'll upload a new file for showing the download part and click login so in the upload file i'll create a new file for the demo purpose so i'll create it as demo demo for downloading file in cloud so let me put this as a content here and here i'll click i'll put the keyword as demo and i'll set the policy for staff and i'll go to the d drive and i upload at uh, that one demo and click upload and now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and log out now go to the data user part here in the data user now i'm as it is been set to the staff part so i will log in with this email id and click login now you can see the login is failed because it is not been approved till in the domain authority so go to the domain authority and click login now in the data users you wanted to set a staff and click approve it is been approved now i'll go to the data user part and enter the email id in the password and click login now the login is successful and now you can go to access files here you can see the demo.txt because it has been set to the staff so if you wanted to request it click request and here in the requested file you can see that one and status is waiting so now let me log out and go to the ttp so in the ttp part access request you can see the demo.txt with the username ajit has been requested and here you can see uh, the download and read now i am setting for the download and click approve now it has been approved to download and here you can see that one demo.txt it has been downloaded and approved now log out now go to the data user part of that uh, user click login now in the requested files you can see it is been approved demo.txt has been approved now click download so you can see enter the access file now you wanted to check your here you can see the email id jpinfodic pro chennai at gmail.com so you can see the file name demo.txt access type is download and the secret key to access that file now click now we enter the access key and click verify and now you can see the text that the content that i uploaded that is demo demo for downloading file in cloud 
so now here you can see the option of downloading so click download and you here you can see it has been saved in the desktop so here you can see the demo for uploading downloading the file in the cloud this is the content that I uploaded it has been downloaded successfully so in the downloader files you can see those things and click logout so now in the central authority you can see the details in the central authority the data owners data users and what all the files requested these details and logout and now we have seen data owner data user ttp central authority and domain authority now we will see the cloud server and in the cloud server this is the welcome screen of the cloud server here you can see the file that is in the app available in the cloud so who are the data owners and what is the file IDs and what is the file name uploaded date and what is the file policy of it so everything is available over here and the final part the final part is the graphical part with the time taken for the encryption and decryption so here you can see those analysis so here you can see the time in millisecond that is average encryption time in milliseconds and average decryption time in milliseconds and it is uh, dynamic according to the files that you have uploaded this will be uh, changing it is not a static graph and also you can save these results or print or save as jpeg or png so let me show you by saving as desktop the jpeg you can see those results here it will be dynamic according to the files that you are uh, uploading and downloading and click logout and this is all about the project a scalable attribute based access control scheme with flexible delegation come sharing of access privilege for cloud storage and thank you for watching